Hey guys, I'm Tyrod Taylor, quarterback, Buffalo Bills. I'm here with Reddit. Ask me anything. Thank you. Um, our, our goal next year is definitely to make it to the playoffs, but <clears throat> make it to the to the Super Bowl. But of course, we got to take steps uh, before that, which is the playoffs. But as far as the Rob Ryan hire, um, I think it's a great for the team. Uh, definitely have another uh, another very educated guy on our staff. Knows a lot about football. Um, has coached a lot of ball in this time, and I think anything at this point that, that we can use as um, as help for us to better our team, I'm all for it. Johnny Hooker, interesting name first and foremost. But uh, my favorite receiver, um, I would have to say, is Sammy. Um, I love throwing all my receivers, but Sammy is definitely um, one of the best in the business uh, as far as tracking the ball. And I think this whole year was um, showed that we can uh, put time together on the field and in practice, and in the practice uh, on the practice field, and was able to get on the same page throughout the whole year. Uh, the most fun thing to do in Buffalo is eat their smoked wings. I get them from DBGB's. It's a Bohemian Grill on Allen Street. So hopefully that restaurant get names a, a sandwich or something after me now. I just plugged them in. I've answered this before. A hot dog is not a sandwich. A hot dog is just a hot dog. I understand it's on a bun, but a bun doesn't make it a sandwich. If you go to a restaurant, you have burgers, section and a sandwich section. They don't fall under the same section. So people with their theory of a bun makes it a sandwich is incorrect and false. So no, hot dog is not a sandwich. Neither is a hamburger. I'm gonna go with the Panthers on this one. I think it should be a very good game. Both defenses are very good. But as far as uh, outscoring one another, I think the Panthers will do a better job. My favorite QB growing up, uh, of course, would probably be Michael Vick, being that uh, we grew up in the same area. Um, grew up probably seven minutes from each other. I watched a lot of him at Virginia Tech. Uh, I've also, throughout my time, watched guys like Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, uh, of course, Peyton Manny. We're different quarterbacks as far as style of play, but um, find ways to get it done at the same time. Um, as far as being friends with other quarterbacks in the league, yes, I'm friends with uh, which a number of guys. Um, Cam Newton is a friend of mine, Colin Kaepernick, uh, a couple different guys that came out of my class and guys that, I, that I've met over the years. I mean, we've kept a strong relationship. My favorite collegiate play that sticks out to me is probably my senior year in the Orange Bowl against Stanford, uh, rolling out to the left and hitting like a, a spin move on the sideline and throwing it like a 20 yard touchdown um, right in front of Coach Harbaugh. It was definitely something that stands out to me. Um, as far as a professional play that sticks out, uh, it, had to, it had to be my first touchdown to Percy Harvin uh, against the Colts week one um, up the right sideline. Just something that we had waited for the whole game. It lured the DB in to uh, giving them off coverage and we was able to run past the defense. And of course, like I said, it was my first touchdown as a starter, so that was something that sticks out to me. Being a member of the Ravens was definitely um, a learning point for me. Uh, I had to learn the game from a different perspective. It was the first time in my career from uh, high school that I had to actually sit and watch. Um, sat and watch behind a great guy in Joe Flacco, learn from three different coordinators in four years, so definitely uh, a learning point for my for my career. Um, as far as uh, funny stories, that was kind of a daily thing. Um, uh, being on a team with Ray Lewis and Ed Reed, those type of personalities and, and legends in the game, you definitely, um, definitely do have cool stories to take from. But I would say uh, 
not a story, but more of a moment was probably the one that sticks out is definitely the Super Bowl run that we had. Um, the highs and the low of that year, but to still fight together as a team and, and uh, finish the season off with a Super Bowl was definitely big for us. Uh, don't dwell on the past, learn from it, move on, and uh, keep your eyes focused forward and never look in the rearview mirror. That was like three different things that I heard right there, but uh, I think you get the point. <laughs> don't dwell on the past. Thank you for having me today. Um, the questions were definitely fun. Um, I had a great time. If I'm ever up here again, challenge me a little more with some uh, harder questions.